So now we, I'm finally gonna react to his another story of him fighting one of his rich enemies. So yeah, let's just get this started. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another terrible video on my channel. Today, finally, what you guys have been waiting for, the fight that changed my life. Now, if you guys haven't seen the video I made last time, be sure to watch that. I'll leave a link down in the description. It kind of basically explains what happened and what led up to this fight, but long story short, here is a recap. Last time on Terry TV. I remember one time I was walking down the hallway and accidentally stepped on another kid's shoe. He literally said, What the funk, dude? My new shoes. My bad, man. Yeah, welcome crowded to here. No dud, dip tart. Do you even know how much these cost? Fight! 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 Okay, well, except that one. Dude, except that I part. You. You even they me just stare. They don't just say fight. Got. But is that really the only way? Violence? You're not like Jimmy and the other bottom dwellers. You have a gift for talking to people. Use it. Let's settle it then. Fine then. Let's go. And just like that, we made plans to fight later that week in Hillwalker territory. I went against what Claire told me and what I originally wanted. But at the time, I only wanted one thing. To wipe that smug look off Richie's face. The old-fashioned way. Our way. We arrived at the scene. Richie and a couple other guys were there waiting for us. Jimmy and I then approached them. About time you pansies showed up. You thought we wouldn't? We thought you'd show up with a new pair of shoes for Richie, at least. That'll be the last thing we give you. Ooh, big talk from the short kid. You sure you don't want in on this too, Jimmy? Enough. When this is over, I want you to remember. You did this to yourself. Yeah, I basically. gave Jimmy my wallet, phone, and watch. Meanwhile, Richie emptied out his pockets as well. You know, Terry, I gotta give you props, man, for even showing up. I guess you bottom dwellers do have balls after all. That's funny, coming from the guy who started all this over a pair of shoes. <laughs> A pair of shoes. That's funny. It was never about shoes, you moron. It's about showing everyone that we're still on top. You see, our school is in the hills. And we live in the hills. You rats only go here because you have nowhere else to go. Boy, for a rich kid, you sure are dumb. I guess money can't buy everything. We'll see if you still think the same after this. If you can even think at all. Then put your money where your mouth is and let's see. Bring it, bitch! <laughs> Oh, I used to watch so, shows, Terry's gonna and, find I and I never rich liked kid it. This oh my gosh, I don't understand why you kids have to go around beating each other up. Relax, Ma. This guy's never been in a street fight. Terry's gonna tear him a new one. Right, T? Okay, first of all, thanks for telling your mom right in front of me. And second of all, yeah, that's the plan. And third, thanks for worrying, Miss Reese, but I'll be fine. We do this all the time. Yeah, no spit. Yins really blow my mind, honestly. Just shake hands and make friends already. You know you're all gonna be besties someday. Please, Ma. We never be friends with snobby hillwalkers. I'd rather drop out. Same. You guys have been friends since middle school. Why isn't Terry coming over more often? But they didn't become best friends until high school, dear. Even I know that. Terry was still coming over in middle school, Ma. Just not as much. Well, the high school is closer to your house, so that's probably why. What? You think I come here for you? <laughs> of course he comes here to see us, not you, Manny. Mom. Nobody even asked you. You're right, nobody asked you, Sonia. We all know Terry came over today to witness my new 7.1 surround sound system. Oh, here we go. What here we go? This is what every home theater needs. 7.1 Dolly Digital surround sound. I just installed it today and I can even play music from my U phone via Bluetooth. Nice. Watch this. He pulled out his phone and played some music on the sound system. No. That's pretty cool, Mr. Patel. It's the future. And speaking of, Terry, did you figure out what you'd like to do with yours? Oh, I think he mentioned it before. You wanted to be some kind of engineer, right? Hush, Sonia. Let the boy speak for himself. Yeah, Mom, you're talking too much. By the way, can I have more potatoes? Actually, that was freshman year. These days, I'm thinking more towards the performing arts. Oh, like what? Singing? Acting? Directing? Actually, movies. Or TV. Or... Something. And screenwriting. English was always my best subject, and writing was always something I enjoyed. Dad, you keep saying your sound system is the future, when actually, it's right in front of you. And by the way, Terry, as your future manager, I get a percentage of all your earnings. <laughs> if I even get that far. <laughs> what did you guys talk about this already? Training goes with the me. Business Depends aspect. <laughs> how much I make well, I think you'll do And if I have Terry, a friend stay that helps me, we we'll just put the money. Will come. That's the plan. Who wants dessert? I do. About time. 
The day of the fight, I woke up more relaxed than I thought I would. I opened up my eyes, sat up, and got out of bed. I knew that today would be an event, but to what extent I wasn't prepared for. The fight went like pretty much any street fight would. I was pretty much doing better than Richie. I eventually managed to get him into a chokehold, which he had no idea how to get out of. But once I got him into the chokehold, he started complaining about how he couldn't breathe. I tried telling him that that was the point, genius, and that yeah, he should tap please. out, meaning I would win. But unfortunately, that's where his friends decided to intervene. They pulled me off Richie, and I'm not exactly sure what happened, but as they did, I remember tripping over something, a rock or a twig. I remember falling down and hitting my head hard. As I picked myself back up, I was dazed, blurry vision, trying to snap back to reality. And that's when I saw Richie coming at me full force. The last thing I heard was Jimmy yelling out to me to get up, but it was too late. He had already gotten the advantage he needed. Okay, he's those... done, dude. Get off! Richie, I think he's done. When it was over, Richie's friends were pulling him off me. Now I want you to remember, Terry. I did this to you. And just like that, the fight was over. I was left battered and bloodied. And that is, unfortunately, how I lost the fight. Now, that's all World I can fit right in there. today's segment of the video. Otherwise, I'd only be uploading like once a month for you guys, which I don't think YouTube would like. But suffice it to say, stick around, turn on post notifications if you want to see the next update and final finale episode. Basically, this fight led up to a lot of different things, including not only me building up rage and getting into more trouble eventually, but it also ties into why Claire and I eventually ended up breaking up. So if you want to see all that tea wow. and you want to see all that drama and you want to see what happens next, click subscribe, hit the like button to show support. Make sure, most importantly, you guys click the little bell, the notification, and you check all notifications because YouTube has been really stingy with the bell option lately. So if you guys really want to show support, you want to make sure you see the video, please make sure you are subscribed with the bell selected to all notifications. Anyways, thank you guys so much for supporting the videos if you've made it this far. I honestly really have a good time making these videos. I think it's really fun to retell a story and, you know, put a cinematic spin on it. I really get to test my creativity in these kinds of videos. Being a film and screenwriting major, it's a lot of fun for me and it really feels like I'm making content that I enjoy and that you guys enjoy as well. Maybe one day I'll be an anime director. Who knows? Any animation studios want to hire me? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm free. You know, I'm, I'm willing. I'm able. If you ever decide to make a real Death Note movie, I'm your guy. I'm your director, okay? Whatever that thing was on Netflix, I don't even know, but that was disgraceful. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. And now, here is Terry time. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Who's a good boy, huh? <laughs> Who's the best doggo in the world? I'm not sure if, so, you, if uh, she even watches. Pa, 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 not, you, there you go. Good boy. Turn around. No, not sneeze. Max, turn around. Turn around. That, not sne well, okay. You sneezed and you turned around. Sit down. Oh, hey, well, we trained. Max. Bang. Bang. Okay, we'll, we're, we're working on that. Oh, welcome back, guys, to the next episode of Terry Time brought to you by Terry. And Max, Max, come here. You want to say hi again? Max just joined the party. Say hi. Say hi. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Max, give me a boop. Uh, Close enough. Guys, mm -hmm. I want to show you something that uh, I think is pretty cool that I didn't show you guys before. If you may have noticed in the video, I have Nutella uh, containers behind me. Mm -hmm. And if you cannot tell already, guys, they are custom made. They say Terry and Max. Check it out. So this one over here says Terry. That one over there says Max. And if you're wondering how I got these, I didn't actually. A very loyal viewer of mine named uh, Ito, Eto, uh, ah, Eto, Eto46 gave me these while he was visiting Korea. I think they're pretty swell. How about you? Ready to go? Ready to go outside? Yeah, you want to go outside? Okay, come on.
Come on over here. Come on over here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What if I don't take you, huh? What are you going to do if I don't take you? What are you going to do? Huh? I'm just going to go by myself. <laughs> oh, you heard that. Yeah, you're not coming. You are not coming with me. You're staying here. How does it make you feel? You want to go out together? All right. Looks like you're all ready. Right? You got your leash on. I got the uh, attachment right here. You ready to go? Ready to go? Is it a night time? Oh no. Oh. He likes to uh, mark all of his territories and uh, you know he doesn't mind if I am filming. Well actually I don't know. This is the first time I've filmed my dog marking territories so maybe he doesn't even realize. But you know what he's, he's got a lot of territories. He's got a lot of uh, poles you know in my neighborhood. Um, I don't realize. I don't know if he realizes that he marks the same ones uh, almost every day. Uh, but you know what? I, I don't care. You know, maybe he just wants to show extra support and, uh, you know, dominance. And, uh, who knows? Might be a dog thing. All right. We are home. Aren't you so happy to be home? Yes, you are. Who's that good boy? Who's that best little boy? Uh, well, that'll about do it for today's Terry Time episode. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing just a little bit of an insight into my life, my daily, my nightly routine, my nightly life. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the main uh, part of the video. Thank you for watching this far if you made it. Sorry if uh, any of this part is boring. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with Terry time. You know, basically it's the segment of the video where I catch up with you guys, talk to you, get a little bit on a more of a personal level with you guys, catch you up on what's going on with me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, these are going to improve over time, I promise. So stick with me. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Oh, and good night from Max. Say good night, Max. Say okay, 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 that's enough. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about reacting to one more Terry TV, and that is the Spoil Rich Kids. Never seen it. So, I guess after I react to the, that video, I'm gonna be stop. I'm probably gonna stop reacting to Terry TV videos. But if he creates more stories, then I might react to one of his videos. So, yeah. So. Thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, go subscribe to Terry.